All right, today I'm doing a video walkthrough on the Jewett Fourplex. We've got the uh, the upstairs. I would say 95% completed. There are um, a few things that need to be done, but we got the carpet in, looking nice and clean. Got the linoleum in the kitchen and the bathroom done. So as you can see, there's a little bit of stuff to do in the kitchen. Just little piddly things too, like we uh, we put these new uh, entry doors in. Got to put the trim back. The small stuff. A few plugs and switches that still haven't been changed out. I have noticed. Yeah, let me see. Here's the bedroom. It's looking good. A little bit of cleanup to do in the bathroom, but overall it's coming together really well. So we are looking to be done with uh, the entire project uh, by the end of this week, which probably means early next Monday. <laughs> All right, here's the other apartment. Uh-oh. Let me uh, turn my phone off. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. So here's the second unit. The two top units are identical. See, we are putting new appliances in. Cleaned up the, the, the kitchen, put new poles. Just made it look good, nice and clean. Oh, here we go. The same thing with this bedroom. We just put new carpet in, painted, cleaned it up. Made it look nice and neat. Quick shot of the bathroom. So these two units should be 100% completed probably by the end of the day today or hopefully tomorrow. So they are already downstairs kind of painting and getting that all prepped for a carpet and everything. So these two down below were kind of considering a studio apartment, which I guess the upstairs is too, but Through real quick so these actually uh, rent for just a little bit less just because it's, it's a smaller space and you can see the ceilings are a little bit lower so it kind of has that squatty feeling so but these are going to look exactly the same as the two upstairs uh, we're going to put new poles you know, on the uh, kitchen cabinets you know all the appliances and everything everything will be all painted cleaned up linoleum in the kitchen we'll have carpet in the the living room and the bedroom. And part of the linoleum here in the bathroom as well too. So still got a little bit of work to do down here, but it's not it's not so much that we're not gonna be able to be done by the end of the week. So same thing on both of these. Whew, that scared me. Both of these units are are basically the same. They're gonna be identical. So the two property, the two units upstairs, uh, rent for 500. The two lower units, uh, we're going to rent out for 450. Honestly, I really feel like that is a kind of a conservative estimate. Um, possibly could rent for more, but you know it is what it is. So that's actually a pretty good income coming in from one building. So a little bit of trash to pick up out here. But it's coming along really good. I can't wait to get this project done. Show you a little the other side of the building here. Man, I wish I could find some more, <laughs> some more buildings just like this one, man. Incredible cash flow property. So, if you are looking to buy investment properties or cash flowing properties here in Kansas City, Missouri. The best thing to do is just go to my website at buyahousecasemo.com, get signed up on my email list, and as we get properties available, we will shoot you an email or, or either call you and let you know. So thanks for watching the video, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.